Hey, what's up high levelers? In today's video, we're going to learn how to use different filters in the context section to create smart lists out of them. So let's jump into go high level and see how we can set it up. All right, so I'm under the context tab right now. And as you can see, it is displaying all the context that I have under this sub account. Now we can create smart lists out of these and a smart list is basically nothing more than just having some filters applied on the context tab and then creating different lists out of them. So just as an example, I want to create a smart list of people who have been engaging with me or are interested in the services or products that I have to offer. So let's go ahead and set it up. Now, the first thing I'll do is click on more filters right here. And the way I identify my hot leads or people who are interested is that they have either sent me a message in less than 24 hours ago or have a certain tag which they could apply using some automations I have built. So what I'm going to do is search for a filter which is created and then I basically want to filter out the people who came into the sub account less than seven days ago which means they came in recently. So I'm going to select less than seven days ago and then hit apply. Now you see that we also have an option to select or. So firstly I'm going to build out this segment and then we'll go into the second one again. So I'm going to click on and here and then I will filter by tag and all my hot leads or people who are interested in my services do have this tag. So I'm just going to select hot lead here and as you can see it is giving me a list of six people right here. Now there's one more condition which qualifies for all the people who are interested in my services which is if they were created less than seven days ago but they have also replied to my contact or my automated text recently. So in order to do that, I won't have to create a brand new filter or smart list. I can just add in the or because if any of these two conditions get fulfilled, I will have my smart list. So what I'll do is I will click or here. And then again, I'm going to select created less than seven days ago. So I have the first option here and then I need to add an and here. So I'll click here and so I'm going to select last activity and then from here I will select less than 24 hours ago. So that means they reply to my text or automations recently and I'm hit apply. Now you will see that I have got my smart list. So if any of these two conditions get satisfied, it will include all those people in the smart list. So if you scroll down, you'll see that you can also add some more or conditions if you need to. It's just like the conditions that we have in workflows where you can have one segment. So we have one segment here and then or and then another segment here. So any of these get satisfied or get true, that will be executed and that will include all those contacts in your smart list. So because I'm happy with all what I have right now, I'm going to click on save as smart list and then I can name it leads interested, right? Or something along those lines. Once I do that, you will see the smart list right here and then you will see that it has the filters preloaded. So this is how the smart lists work. You can create multiple smart lists and the best thing about them is that they are fully dynamic. So let's say if I have more leads coming into the sub account in the next few weeks, if any of those satisfy the conditions that we have here, they will automatically be added into the smart list so we don't have to test them again, right? So concluding all this, smart list can really help you categorize your audience and then take the right actions based on which category they are under. All right, so that was all about smart list and filters. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you.